Yeah, I'm a pig farmer, like I said, but and uh, I love pigs. I keep pigs, and then when we're talking about that, uh, livestock is not uh, bankable. Okay, so we could decide to say that oh, there's a policy. Why? Why do? Why doesn't a farmer go with his stock in the bank and say, you know what, you guys, I have uh, maybe so many heads of cattle. Can you uh, can you use them as my collateral, and then after I've sold, I'll pay back. But it, it's not anywhere in many of these other developing countries. So, but if it's a policy that has been discussed by all these other uh, mass stakeholder platforms, I'm sure governments will listen and everyone will be benefit. If I'm a pig farmer and I need to go to the bank, uh, let, me, let me actually give you my life, ex my, my real story, okay? Yeah. Um, an example here one time I needed to I, I needed to I, I needed to buy equipment for my pigs to refurbish my pig house and all that. So I went to the bank and I asked the bank manager, I'd been banking in this bank for so many years. So I'm like, you guys look at my my spreadsheet, you and then they're like, No, we can't we can't give you a loan because you're in agriculture. You're dealing with livestock. And I'm like but in the next six months, I have pigs that I'm going to sell. Actually, it wasn't the next six months, but at least when you're, if you're going to sell pigs, take for example, if a pig is born, a piglet is born, it will take it six months for, it to, uh, for you to slaughter. So I'm like, no, but look here, I just, I'm, I'm expecting to sell my pigs at a certain time, T. So I need this loan so that I can renovate my piggery house and they could not give me a loan. Yet, after some time, one year down the road after I'd borrowed this money, I tripled my savings or I tripled my earnings. So if the bank had listened to me and known that, oh, look here, uh, you, if, if it would know that my pigs were bankable or that they would, then I would get, they would listen to me. So that's what I was saying that unlike, um, Whereby, because this bank manager actually told me, you either get a loan and buy a car and sell the car so that you can buy stock and, 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 and work on your, on, your, on your piggery house. So this is why I'm saying that if only these financiers or these people where we come get credit from can listen to us, because we, we can also, we, we believe in ourselves, we can sell you out there to work. So I don't want someone to say that, oh, yes, I know livestock is risky, but if you've been keeping these animals for so many years, so you understand them, you are actually, you also don't want to be risky. So you make sure that you do everything that is possible for you to be able to produce these animals. And now the global agenda, because the global agenda is uh, uh, really a mass stakeholder platform with different people, financiers and uh, livestock people, I think if they can pass on uh, this information to the rest of the people who are concerned, especially the bankers or where we get credit from, because I think with farming, that is the biggest challenge. We can discuss all these other things, but if farmers are not having access to credit, then we are going to have, it's, it's, we are kind of not going to move forward. So if the global agenda can uh, try and um, pass on as much information to Financers, people who are in uh, the finance uh, departments, and tell them, like, look here, there's money in livestock. All you have to do is listen to these people, and they'll be able to give you whatever you want.